Welcome to Practice Strokes. Today, I'm going to teach you about glass. I know I've had some other ones with glass. I just want to share with you that you clean this with soap and water, and then I wipe it with alcohol to make sure um, that it doesn't have any grease and stuff on it. But one thing is by laying your hands on it, your body oils will get on it too. So you might want to wash your hands really big before you start. Uh, really big, really good. So I want you to see that painting on blue or different color glass is nice also. So we can do the same thing we're doing here, but do that on glass. And if you use the enamels paint, you um, have a very good glossy um, finish. Now there used to be a medium that there is no longer. So what I tell you to do is put more paint than normal. Um, than what you would think, not the normal, more in pain than what you would think. If it's really thin, it's going to scratch easily or or um, wash off easily. So um, if you do the steps that we're saying for curing, I like to say those now because sometimes I get all into my project and forget about it later. Uh, so you can bake this in the oven. This is just um, a used uh, vase that was sent to me with flowers. I go to Dollar Tree a lot and get inexpensive or garage sales and buy tons of vases that way. If you have a friend that's a nurse in the hospitals, they always have lots of vases left around in the rooms just to let you know. And you can give them the heads up to collect them for you. That would be good if you want to start painting vases. I paint vases a lot because you can get more money than just plain glasses. It looks like more. So I'm going to show you a technique using... Um, it's kind of like a dogwood flower. It's not dogwood. It's just a pretty blossom, cluster of blossoms. All right. So I am going to start out by wetting my brush, but I want to dry it off. And I put my colors in my double loader. So I put a brown. This is burn umber and wicker white. And then next to that, I'm going to have June berry and wicker white. These are all multi-surface colors. Okay which means they go on indoor, outdoor, they have a sealer. And these are not the enamels that I was just talking about. Enamels are high shine and they're made for glass painting. The multi-surface will paint on glass, metal, ceramic, um, non pore surfaces because of the sealer that's in it. So it does have a little bit more of a satin finish than a gloss finish, but I really like using it because it's just one paint with, you know, a couple hundred colors. All right, so we're going to come right in here and we're going to pick up the burnt umber and the wicker white. So you can move this over against the, the load there. This is a double loading carousel. Whenever you're doing other paints, you'd put your medium in here and then you can store it. I just like to share with you, this is my double loader and it's a special tool. And you take and wet the sponge and the air holes come in there keep some moisture you clip this on and then you line up these two notches and you clip it here now i really besides double loading and helping you paint well um this is the key to that but this double loader has all these parts to it that i just showed you but also if you're doing fabric paint and sometimes um other gels they run all into each other. So this is a really good way to keep that paint separated also. So I'm gonna teach you some fun technique here. So I'm gonna come up on the chisel of the brush, I'm trying to get my hands out so you can just see it. So here's a cut branch and it's gonna come across your glass. And you don't, if you're doing something that you would drink, we advise you to leave an inch at the top. But this is a water vase, so for flowers. Okay, so do you see it's easy to wipe off if you don't like something? See, I pick up both colors, flatten them. And then what you want to do, these are little choppy like branches that this doesn't have to be perfect. I like it that it's kind of rugged looking. And then we have little branches off of this. Stay up on the chisel. With this one, I realized there's a seam in the glass. So I tried to put it in the middle of the two seams. Okay. 
So there you go. I'll try to get my hands out of the way. Now, what I'm going to do, I the branches sometimes have a lot of little nubs and different um, strokes in here that I'm not going to really worry about until I'm all done. If I feel like it needs something, I'll add that. I'm going to wipe this off. I'm still going to use, I'm sorry, I used a 12 flat. I didn't tell you. All right. So I'm still going to use this 12 flat and I'm going to use teal and citrus with my colors. All right. I didn't clean out the brush. I just wiped it off. All right, now I can dip into the white over here and add that in here a little bit. There you go. All right, now what I want you to see is some of the leaves that I'm going to put underneath. Usually I put all leaves after I get my flowers on. All right, but this one's underneath. I'm going to kind of put it here. You can go over the stroke if you're if you're not happy with the stroke. I can add some pink in it, um, and I can do that as I go instead of trying to come back. So look, I'm going to stroke back over that and then pull a little stem in the middle. All right, so let's do some more citrus and teal, and I can come out here, push hard, roll the brush and have another fancy little leaf there. All right, and I'll put a couple on this other side. I can just even grab some pink and the uh, Juneberry like in the, in the brush. All right, so I'm gonna do a few long strokes, see how it blends shades and highlights for you. All right, so I got a little thin here. So all I could do, all I have to do is pick up more paint and kind of lay it on. It's a little bit heavier. Okay, lay it on so the paint stays better. See, that's getting thin. And I can just come here, press, and stroke. All right. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and put a couple of little blossoms that are gonna go up here at the top. So if I get, you can even just pick up green on these. All right. And I can come right in here and do a little, little, little. So this is how you build it and paint it on glass. That's the key of what I'm showing you right now. Um, it's important to see, this is a two script liner and just putting some stems of where I want to get some of these little blossoms. And I, I want you to kind of time yourself because it's pretty amazing how quick you can do um, a flower on here. All right. So let's get a smaller brush. I want to use like maybe a six would work on here. There we go. Let's do a six. And we're going to come right here and get Juneberry and white. And I'm going to work this in because I, I didn't get enough white. Can you see that? So pick up paint, smaller brushes, usually better to do one color and pick up a side. All right, so I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna do two strokes to make a bud. And over here, one, two. Now I wanna pick up some more paint. I just used where I work this in right here, see? All right, we pick up more paint. All right, now over here, I'm going to twist it around because you want the vase to look pretty in different directions. So one, two, steady your hand. One, two, one, two. Now these are the little buds on this branch of blossoms. This, these are tree blossoms. And I just wanna show you how quickly you can make something that looks like you've worked really hard to get it. And on glass, it's really nice. You could do this all neutral colors too, um, which is wonderful. All right, so I can also do a back, look at these back strokes. One, two, three, 
All right, then I can come in here in front and do five, six. You can use a filbert brush if you want, but this is a six flat, but see how it looks like you see two layers. Okay, now those are the little buds and all we have to do with those is pick out the two colors with the same brush of citrus and teal. And all I'm going to do is put little leaves that connect it. Okay, so you're just going to come right on top. You can do a couple on the side if you want. So let's come back here and get some more green. So it just looks like a little leaf there. And I can add a couple there. Okay, so let's see what it's looking like so far. All right, now let's put the pretty big blossoms. All right, so I'm going to use um, a tin. And I'm going to go in between these two colors. Right here, the Juneberry and the Wicker White. Then I'm going to work it in, work it in, work it in. So you want inside the bristles to be full of paint. Uh, you're going to let this um, cure a little bit, 12 to 24 hours um, is what the instruction says. I'm bad. I just put it in the oven pretty much right away and then bake it on a low 325. <laughs> yeah, and let it sit in there for at least 30, 40 minutes, turn off the oven and take it out when the oven's cool. And I, so I usually put them in at night, turn it on, and uh, pick it out the next day. All right. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to come out and make one petal. Oh, I keep picking up right there where I blended it. And I'm going to come out here. So we're going to do about five or six petals. Three, and we want the dark in the middle. So I can pick up more white on the outside edge. And see, I go right over that paint, even if it's not dry. Um, if it's a little dry, it might not make the petal green, but I didn't worry about it when it was there. I'm going to add a couple more. This is, I want you to understand that the petals are the beauty. The, I mean, are pretty, but the stamens is what makes this really gorgeous. So here's a side one, okay? Now see how much paint I'm putting on there? A lot. All right, I'm gonna pick up just white. Okay, and this is a side view, so you'll see the stamens in there. All right, and I have another one right down here I'm going to put. So we've got one petal. I think you're going to love that you don't have to base coat a surface, my favorite thing. You can use old glass jars, jelly jars, peanut butter jars, all kinds of jars. I use pickle and olive jars for interest. and. So you can make money and save money by using uh, recycling. All right. I know that's not the words they use now. <laughs> okay. Now I can put a little bit of darkness in the middle to make it a little darker. Let's see, I want to make it a little bit heavier. Now what I do is I do multiples as I go. So as I do the green, I would paint the green on each piece. All right, as I'm doing uh, the buds, I do them on all the pieces in front of me. I want you to see, let me put this here so it won't roll. Okay, uh, this is doing frosted glass and you just pounce it on with a sponge or the scruffy brush. This is my scruffy brush. All right, and you pounce it on, those are all natural hair. I use some color shift paint in here. And color shift with this is purple and color shift green. I have a little bit of that in there. And 
that stays on when you bake it also. It's wonderful. And I sometimes just put some little leaves with a color shift, but can you see the iridescent? That's the color shift. All right, so as I was doing this, I used the leftovers from this. Okay, and I then painted this. So, you know, I use this as I'm going and save money by, um, this was um, some greenscape and all that I used with um, some um, white and different colors to make it really muted. And this is dots with the handle of your brush. And so this I did years ago and it's still hanging on. Okay, so, and there's another little mason jars. I put, I take out this top and I put jute or ribbons around the top and it makes a good hand, a candle holder too. All right, so if you have a lot of glass and you paint like three or four things that match and you're at the shows, then the people love that either for a gift or whatever. This could be the vase for the table and you can make all your wine glasses to match with just a couple of these flowers and butts, all right? So now what I wanna do is take my script liner. It's a two script liner. And what I need to do is grab some white and I'm going to roll the brush and I'm not really wanting to use water at all. And I don't need the regular floating medium, but I do need to have a, a way to take this paint and put it all around inside. You can let this dry and then go do them all at the same time. It'll get thinner and nicer if it's dry, but I don't have time. I got to show you really quick. Oh, I just want you to know that I am I'm wetting my brush just a touch so that I can roll this. And it's okay if you wet it a little bit with water if it's going to be on painted surface, like the painted surface is on the glass. You're not just wetting these and putting these out there because then you don't have it. Um, so it will retain and stay by wetting it. You break down the durability, but you don't if you put it right on top of other paint. Does that make sense? So I hope you like what I'm teaching you today. I will be sharing more and more different things to do during the holidays on practice strokes to show you how quick you can make a good income. I also, if you've ever wanted to teach, just teaching glass classes will get you lots of students. And you can get those by being at the art shows and when people say, I need some wedding glasses, all you have to do is say, oh, come to my class. I'll teach you how and start taking those signups at the shows. So I like to show these like the glasses and say, I'm teaching glass painting this next uh, coming up. So if you put your email down, I'll be glad to email you all the classes I have that are coming up. All right. So now the next thing, the last thing you want to do as you can put yellow, I'll show you yellow. You can come in here and just dot these. And you notice I'm not dotting every end. I'm putting little dots out here so that you can imagine there are other little stamens out there to hold. Or you can use citrus green. You can use the green that I did. So I could like put yellow here. I'm going to put this yellow on here, though. I can put yellow and white. Oops. Okay, dot, 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 all the way around. Um, or, oops, you don't want to push so hard that it gets squishy. Or I can come over here and just show you that I can put citrus right in here. So I put yellow in the center and then citrus out here. So have fun, do your own, make these any color you want, these little blossoms, but having the stamen in it showing up makes it a really pretty container. It's hard to show you glass in here. There you go. So have fun. All I do is let this sit and dry and then I put it in the oven 
lots of times I'll turn it upside down like this and the heat will kind of peel this off for you. But um, there we go. And with the wine glasses, I turn them upside down too and put them in on a cookie sheet or right on the rack. This can go on the rack without any problem, but I would um, put the glasses on a cookie sheet just so it doesn't get tumbled. Okay, there you go. Sign them and share them, right? See you next week.